The following champion versus champion contest is a last man standing match. And is for the WWE Championship. Six foot four, 350 pounds of rage. A multiple-time Intercontinental Champion here in WWE. A truly terrifying blend of size, speed, and aggression. And think about all the epic brawls we've seen Umaga involved in against the likes of both John Cena and Bobby Lashley. The most dangerous Samoan competitor in the history of WWE. And that is saying a lot. The title collector is here. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. Introducing the challenger from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga! And his opponent from Punja, India, weighing in at 347 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the Great. The stakes could not be any higher. It is time for our WWE Championship match. The WWE Championship has stood as the premier championship in professional wrestling, and tonight we may see a new chapter in its storied history. Both champion and challenger are motivated by the biggest prize of them all. The man who lays claim to that title can call himself the very best competitor in this industry. What's his plan here? Driving down the 
the axe handle. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Corey, I think it's safe to say that this match is inherently about who possesses the greater amount of fighting spirit. Absolutely, Cole. And if you enter a last man standing match with just the belief that you're superior and nothing else driving you, then your opponent just might end up surprising you. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Oh, he slammed his face right into the barricade. Counter from Umaga. Driven into the barricade. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Punch lands. Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Oh, no. He avoids the damage. Steel stairs to the face. All right, back Two. to it. Returning to the ring. Three. And Umaga signaling to the WWE Universe, but he's giving his opponent a lot of time to recover. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. Taking this one back to the ring now. City of Umaga. Chicago for this year's Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell is what I call Saxon's hotel room after a few too many Chicago dogs. Hey. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. And Umaga wants it. Got it. Safe to 